good people! This is Fisher12, and we have another exciting Call of Duty esports video for you guys today. As always, and today, we're talking about who is the most accomplished player of all time. Now, I think after this past weekend, this has become more of a hot topic, and I think after this coming weekend, after UMG California, I think it'll be even more of a hot topic. And I'm using the term the most accomplished because I think this would be an entirely different video if we were talking about the greatest of all time because I don't think you need to be more accomplished than someone to be greater and a prime example of this is this guy this is Ted Williams who was a left fielder for the Boston Red Sox and easily in the top 10 if not the top 5 greatest baseball players of all time and you know how many championships he has how many World Series rings he has on his fingers zero zip nilch a donut a big fat O. Oh. He has none, but he is still considered one of the greatest players because he was a fantastic hitter. He never hit less than 200 hits in an entire season throughout his entire career. Right now, I think there are three players in contention for the most accomplished Call of Duty player of all time, and they are Aix, Crim6, and Clayster. So in this video, I'm just going to go through each player and make a case for them as to why they should be the most accomplished. So let's start off with Aix. Aix for a long time was the most winningest player in Call of Duty, and I put most winningest in quotes because winningest isn't a word, and I don't follow any other esport as closely as I follow Call of Duty, but I'm curious to know if there is any player in any esport who has more than 19 championships, because 19 championships is a lot. But not only does he have these 19 championships, but they're across every Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2. And I think there is a very short list of players who have won a championship in every Call of Duty they've played in. And Aix has been doing it since 2010. Aix also has the ability to win with whoever is around him. It doesn't matter if it's great players like Krim and TP and Karma, or if it's lesser players like Apathy, Slasher, and Sensor. It doesn't matter who's around him, he always finds a way to win. We've seen him win with players that no one would even previously consider championship contenders, and he takes them and turns them into championship contenders and turns them into championship winners, as a matter of fact. And I don't think there's any other player who can elevate other players to such a high caliber of playing. Sure, you know, you play with good players and then that makes you play well, but to have someone who can literally take you from being not good and make you a championship winning player, I think is a skill that is unrivaled in this community. So I think Ake's claim to the most accomplished player of all time is his prolific and longevous career of winning championships with whoever he has as teammates. Now moving on to Crim6, once a former teammate of Ake's, and as of last weekend he has tied Ake's for the most championships in Call of Duty. So in addition to just the sheer number of championships he was able to win, I think Krim has two other achievements to push his case. The first being is that he is a multi-title pro player. In fact, he was the very first MLG pro player in both Call of Duty and Halo. And I don't think many people realize how big of a deal this is. It may just seem like it's nothing just because you, you read it on paper and it just doesn't seem like much to you, but in comparison to the pro players, most of us are mediocre at Call of Duty. So for Krim to be good enough at a professional level in one game and then completely switch to a different game and then excel at that game too is truly robot-like functionality. But I also think Crim6 has accomplished most or more in a shorter amount of time than anyone else. Crim has only been playing Call of Duty since Black Ops 2, so only in three cycles of Call of Duty has Crim been able to win 19 championships. I'm positive, I, yeah, I'm, I'm positive that he is the only player with a winning percentage of over 70%. That, that, do you guys know what that means? That means if he plays a championship, if he plays a LAN event, there is a 70% chance that he is going to win it, which is probably more so than any other player, I think. So, Krim's claim to the most accomplished player of all time is his explosive success in the scene over a short time and after switching from an entirely different game. And lastly is Clayster. Now, Clay doesn't have 19 championship wins. He only has 9. But with those 9 championships, Clay has accomplished what no other player has done. Clayster has won every type of event possible. He's won an MLG event, a UMG event, Invitationals, Gfinity, Esports World Cup, X Games, and Call of Duty Champs. There literally isn't a single event he hasn't won. And something that I think is unique to Clay is that he's truly accomplished this as a lone wolf. And what I mean by that is when you think of Krim or Aix, you think of their complexity, e.g. Dynasty, you think of them as part of a team. If you were to look at someone else on a different team, let's pick... 
I don't know, Scumpy for example, he's been a staple member of Optic Gaming. But Clayster doesn't have his accomplishments as part of one team, or part of two teams, or part of a specific duo. He's done it all by himself with whatever has been around him. He's been on seven teams since playing professionally, which very rarely do you see players bounce around so much and still continue to find success. So Clayster's claim to the most accomplished player of all time has to be his vast variety of winning different well, really winning every championship possible. Now, I don't want to say who definitively is the most accomplished of all time because time isn't over yet. Maybe Aix wins another championship and takes the lead, maybe Krim does, maybe Clayster wins every event twice, maybe there is some up newcomer who wins 27 championships. Who knows? But what I really want to know is who you guys think is the most accomplished player of all time. And you guys can let me know that by leaving a comment down below. And unfortunately, this will bring us to the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Fisher12, same as the channel name. There'll be a link down in the description alongside a link to my live stream over at twitch.tv slash Fisher12, where I live stream Tuesday through Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you guys there. Hope you enjoyed the video. And take care.